uh, about, I'd say, about after spring break in March, um, a couple people asked me what we were, what you're going to do this summer, and I said, I have an idea. I don't really want to teach summer school, but I'd like to do something with kids. So I had this idea of putting together a book bus, similar to um, what I had as a child was a bookmobile that came by my house and brought books. And I thought a lot of my clientele of students live in outskirts or in certain neighborhoods and don't have access to getting to the library. So I thought I'd put books together and uh, put them in a bus and bring it out to different neighborhoods. Now, how did you work the all the, the, the kind of coordination details, getting the bus, getting the books? How did all that come together? First, I went to my principal and told her my idea. She liked it. She said, go for it. Um, she actually signed a transportation request that would cover the cost of the bus. I'm a bus driver myself, so I can do the driving and volunteer my time for that. And I'm an avid reader and I love to read, so I wanted to get, get it rolling. The next person I talked to was the director of transportation, Lori Smock, and she was all for it. She said she'd let me use one of the buses. And then the PTA does a book drive and they, I talked to them and they gave me um, all of the leftover books from their book drive after they do what they do with them, which is get them to families. And they also gave me $500 and got me started. So then I wrote grants, or I kind of wrote grants. I wrote letters to local organizations, um, the college, the Kiwanis, the Rotary, some other associations around the town. And I overall, I've raised $2,500 to make it go. Oh, we had a fantastic day today. Um, what did we count? At the end of the day, we counted 50 books went out today. We got about 10 new kids. We are, we are in our seventh week. We have one more week to go and we are keeping a tally. We have had over 220 kids come check out books and the tally of books today is up around 680 something. Very Feels good. really good. Feels really good. And uh, you were in a parade? Tell yes, me how that we were in about. the Gunnison Cattlemen's Days Parade. We, um, we got together with our family literacy program, which operates out of our classrooms here in our building. And uh, they had about 30, 40 kids that came with us with their moms and dads, and they rode their bikes and walked in the parade with the bus. And that was a great fun day. Cattlemen's Days is a local 100-year-old celebration. It's really, really fun. So uh, what's been the reception of just uh, families and kids and you know, to, to this whole new idea of doing this this summer? Nothing but good. It's all been, everywhere I go, people say, oh, you're the book bus lady. <laughs> or, Senorita Rita, we love your book bus. I have had parents donate books. Um, I've had parents come find me in the grocery store and tell me thank you. I've heard great stories about kids getting ready, waiting for me at the bus stops. Um, I've had a parent offer to put together a, um, a website for me, volunteer to make a website for me so we can run it throughout the year and into next summer. So is that a lot of pressure now? You know, with every with every bit of success, there comes a little bit of a, we're going to expect you to do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I fully expect to do it again next year, maybe even expand it. Um, I expect to and hope to write a grant, um, find a bigger a funding source and maybe get two buses going, maybe go up into the Upper Valley, up to Crested Butte, out to Lake City, maybe even to Par Parlin and Pitkin. And I actually have a big goal of creating jobs because I could hire two bus drivers and two teachers and pay them to actually do the jobs if I can get the funding. So you're the job creator. Yeah, I'm going to be a job about. creator. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we went out to two trailer park areas. Kind of, you know, there is a public library, but what's the importance of going out to uh, meet a demand out there that maybe the public library doesn't. That's a good point. That was part of why I got this started because I know um, there is a certain socioeconomic challenge um, community in every community and those either the families are working or keeping two jobs try to just keeping their kids fed and daycare is an issue, getting kids around, transportation can be an issue. And so I decided to hit those kinds of spots around the town that they aren't able to get to the library or maybe won't likely get themselves to the library. So that was one of the main things I wanted to do. When I created my bus route, um, I wanted to leave a buffer zone around the public library and advise kids to get to the public library. And then if they can't, then I'm the one that they can count on bringing them books. And, and you've had customers of the public library who've also... Yes, I have several well. families who say, well, we went to the library yesterday, but we know the book bus is coming today. We really want to do that too. So it's been great.
It's just encouraging reading. Yeah, and that's the other point I wanted to hit was just um, when kids take off during the summer and there's this kind of education vacuum sometimes in their life, you know, how is how important is it for kids to keep reading while they're not in school and, and what kind of role do you try and play in that? Well, I can't emphasize enough how important it is. Um, re I'm an avid reader. I've been an avid reader since I was itty bitty. And like I said, the book bus came to my house and my grandmother was a reader. I lived with my grandmother. She encouraged it. I believe that kids get to a point in the summer where they are, maybe they're off for a couple weeks and they haven't done too much. Well, bringing them books, they get really excited about it. Um, keeping books in front of them, keeping books at home. Some of the kids that I see, I know, do not have any books at home. A couple of little girls have, I don't have any books at home. So getting books into their hands, making sure that they have an opportunity to read. Try to get them reading books that are right at their level. And this, this just gives them that opportunity. I think there's a lot of uh, kind of scaling down of what their reading level might be if they don't get a chance to read during the summer. So I think it's really, really important. Uh, you can gloat about your volunteers now. Oh, I have some wonderful volunteers. I have several <laughs> teachers who've been on the bus with me. Um, never a dull moment. Someone is always asking if they can come along and help me. And I want to tell them thank you so very much. And Couldn't the name have done. Of the lady here today was Cecilia. Cecilia Eager, Eager. Pam Hatcher, Virginia yeah. Harris, um, Jennifer Kennedy, Ellie Ferguson. Um, that's, I think that's about it. Oh, I've had some great students who've come out to help. Kimberly um, Brown. Samantha Brown, Jacob Brown, and let's see, that's, I think that's about it, but right. the enthusiasm is great. The enthusiasm around this whole thing has been fabulous. I get a great joy from it. I really do. I get a kick from it. Um, it's been giving me lots of good energy this summer.